Hi guys, Kotutar here and my name is Anil Deshpande. Welcome to the tutorials on building apps with geolocation awareness. In the previous video, you have seen how to display map location using Google Maps. And to display Google Maps, if you go to the start getting location, we used support map fragment. We were basically inflating this particular fragment in the activity. And if you recall, this is what the layout of the activity looks like. And we have nothing but a fragment in which we are inflating the support map fragment android actually recommends using support map fragment because most of the things are already taken care of for example if the activity is closed there is no point in trying to access the location so since the fragment has the life cycle that is intertwined with the life cycle of the activity it will automatically stop the request for the maps so all those things are taken care of but this always doesn't help sometimes you may have to inflate a map in a fragment so you can't nest a fragment with a fragment that is you cannot add a support map fragment inside a fragment so that is where you also need to be aware how to work with the map view itself so in this video we will have a look at how to do that so let's proceed to get started we need to replace this fragment with something more basic instead of fragment we will have a relative layout and then inside the relative layout we have map view how did we get this particular map view if you go to the palette google and map view you can drag and drop this particular map view i have already done that and now we have to reference this particular map view in our maps activity so to get started we will go back here and here we will declare a map view and we will have to initialize the map view so what you can do is map view map view find view by id r dot id dot map view and just like support map fragment here we have to now replace this map fragment with map view and then invoke get map async and you have to pass on the on map ready callback and since my activity implements on map ready callback that is what i have passed here as the argument so we are pretty much done with everything that we need to do but this map view is different from our support map fragment which had all its life cycle methods automatically implemented for it since this is a view and we will have to basically take care of all those life cycle methods so the first thing that we have to do is set the google map key that we had used to make google map application work correctly so for that we will have to create a bundle set the key in that particular bundle and then add it to map view well to do that let me create a bundle let me call it as map view bundle let me make it null initially if map view bundle is equal to null then map view bundle is equal to instead of checking map view bundle is equal to null i can do a saved instance state equals to null saved instance state dot get bundle get resources dot get string r dot string dot google maps key and then map view dot on create and pass the bundle and then we have to set the get map async in the callback method once we start getting the location so that's what we have done and other than that in the on save instance state we will have to reinitialize the bundle with the map key so bundle map view bundle is equal to out state dot get bundle get resources dot get string r dot string dot google maps key if map bundle is equal to null then we have to once again initialize map view bundle bundle to out state so it would be out state dot put bundle get resources dot get string r dot string dot google maps key comma map view bundle then map view dot on save instance state map view bundle and other than this we have to implement all the lifecycle methods on stop on resume let me put it this on stop on start and we also have on pause 
and inside these lifecycle methods you have to write a map view dot on start map view dot on resume map view dot on pause and then on stop and then finally i think in the on destroy map view dot on destroy so that's it we are done with the implementation using the map view so what we basically did is we have now defined a map view with a id called as map view and in the map activity we initialize this map view in the on create method and we set the bundle with the proper google maps key and then set it to the map view using map view dot on create lifecycle method and then in the start getting location which gets called in the on create method once we know the location we use map view dot get map async which was exactly like support map fragment dot get map async and pass the on map ready callback because we are dealing with a view not a fragment we had to write a lot of other codes for example what should happen when the on saved instance state callback gets invoked and then all the remaining callback methods of the activity and now if you go and run this particular application it will seem like exactly the fragment that is running only the difference is it is not a fragment it is an activity with the map view so you should be aware basically how to work with a map view and support map fragment depending upon your requirement you might be forced to use either one of those so far we have shown location on google maps i think the next obvious choice is given the location how do i show the address of the location in the next video we will look at how to do it that brings us to the end of this particular video don't forget to like comment share the video and subscribe to the channel take care bye